Hey there, welcome to another video from easyprogramming.net. I want to quickly go over installing the Mosquito MQTT broker and client on your Pi and set up a Python script as a systemd service to look for updates uh, to your MQTT broker. Uh, you can also use this, uh, use Home Assistant or Hasio, Hasio's built-in MQTT broker, but I thought there may be some benefits to seeing this setup from scratch. So I do have this repository. The repository may change, uh, the, the name may change, some of the steps may change as I update things, but most of the basic commands that you'll need are here. So I'll just mostly just copy and paste from here uh, just to show you that these are here. Since this is a fairly simple, uh, I won't even tell you to clone this repository. We'll just use wget to get these two files that we need uh, in a few minutes. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure, actually before I do that, you need to make sure that um, your pi is up to date. Sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. Let's do sudo apt install mosquito and mosquito clients. This takes a few seconds to do. Once that's done, let's get the next command ready, which will be to enable the mosquito service. So that took less than a minute. So now we'll enable the mosquito service as part of the system. So that's been enabled. We can see if mosquito is running by doing this and mosquito is running and it's usually running on port 1863 uh, as the default, I believe, let me just check, uh, 1883, sorry. So now that's running, let's go back to our readme and see what we need to do. So we can run Mosquito as a daemon in the background. Oops. Copy paste it twice. So now that we have things running, uh, I'm going to pull over this here. Uh, it's another, another sh shell window. Uh, and then I will turn on uh, this as a subscriber here. So we'll do Mosquito. So, see if we start typing it in, uh, it'll tell you. So, uh, we're in the background, do T. Uh, let's just call it test topic. You know, it can be topic can be anything you want. Um, set work. There you go. So, now we're looking for updates being sent to this broker uh, using the topic called test topic. Here we have mosquito installed. So, we'll do mosquito uh, publish, uh, pub. We'll do test. Sorry. Test topic, uh, and then M is for message. We'll do like hello, hello other window. Mosquito pub. Yep, I did do something wrong here, so I didn't do the topic. I did dash T. There you go. So this this uh, select sent published this message hello other window, and in my other window we see hello other window come up. So this is being subscribed. This is looking for messages being sent from any other uh, MQTT client. Um, we can also test this using MQTT lens here. So I have MQTT lens here. Uh, I do have a, a has IO selected here. So I'll just create a new connection. Uh, the connection name, I'll, you know, I'll call it Raspi. If you need the host name, you can do host name, whoops, host name, uh, capital I, and you'll get the IP address here. Port is 1883. I'm not using a username and password. We can set that, up, set that up in another video if there is enough interest, but you can look up how to do this uh, pretty easily. I'll just do like a short sure, minute. Create connection. Um, so it's green, that means connection is set up here. Let me collapse these. Uh, the topic, we don't want to subscribe to anything, but we'll do published test topic. Uh, we'll subscribe to that, and then we'll say uh, Ola from MQTT Lens. Now if I click publish, so I'm not subscribed, so let's subscribe again here. And then here we'll do publish. And you can see that on my MQTT worker here, I did get a publish uh, for test topic and the, the package or, or, or the message that came through was Ola from MQTT Lens. So if I do look one, uh, you can see it comes in. So it's, it's pretty fast. So we have that set up. So now we have uh, MQTT set up. So now let's look at our Python script. So the MQTT subscriber.py uses the paho.mqtt library, uh, which is made by Eclipse. Uh, this is a really cool library which you can use to which you can use to subscribe to 
uh, MQTT brokers, which I use here. So the, ju the gist of it is to know is if you are if you're updating yours, you can update the broker address and the port here if you are using something other than localhost and port 1883. If you want to set up some kind of authentication, you can. I left this blanked out, which I will change later on after this video when I'm working on things. And if there's interest, I will show you how to do this as well. Um, once this connects, it subscribes to three different topics. So I have EP MQTT test, topic two, and topic three. The reason I did this is to show you that you can subscribe to multiple uh, multiple topics at the same time uh, and the quality of service uh, i put in one uh, should be zero uh, you know which is at least one i believe um, when a message is received it prints the message but since we will be setting this up as a service we won't exactly see all of this it'll be logged somewhere you can also set up logging here uh, what i did here is if the topic is topic two uh epmqtt2 it should actually be uh uh, EPMQTT2, not Python topic 2. Let's fix that after I totally get this. Uh, it will create a file called MQTT update txt and append received topic. So I thought since it's a service, we can tail this file just to see updates come in um, as, as, as things go. So let's actually get this file. I won't ask you to. Uh, Where am I? I'm here. Okay, so did we get let's just sudo so that it's owned by root. Let's TT subscribers. Uh, I must have had a different one from before. So I'm just gonna get rid of this. EP TT. Save that. Duplicate. Yep, I got rid of the duplicate. So we can run this um, as is. So let's do uh, um, three MQTT. So I did forget to actually install Paho MQTT. So let's go back to our README. I do have steps for that. So we'll do sudo pip3. Uh, this is a fresh install of Raspberry Pi OS, and for some reason, pip3 isn't installed anymore. So you can actually install this pretty quickly. So you do sudo apt uh, install python3 pip, and it takes less than a minute to do. Okay, that took a couple more minutes longer than I thought it would do. Uh, anyways, now that we have pip installed, now we can run pip3 install paho mqtt. I'm doing this all globally. You can also do this in virtual environments or containers if you want. Okay, so Paho MQTT just got installed. Now if we run our MQTT subscriber script, see if it runs, it, it ran, there's no error here. So now if we go here, if I, it's not test topic anymore, it's epmqt, mqtt slash, uh, I think there was topic two. So I'll do publish. As you can see, it received a message with a, with a byte, uh, received the topic with a byte message here. So topic three also exists here. So I'll do to add a couple more characters here. You can see that also got received. So if I do like topic four, which is not something that this script is subscribing to, nothing happens. It's, it is sending this to this broker, but no one is looking for it, so nothing is happening. There's no, uh, nothing happening. There's also no topic one. So we can see this uh, being written here. So if I do ls, you can see that mqtt update.txt was created. So uh, if I do cat mq update, uh, you can see receive topic two, topic two twice, because I called topic two twice. So let's do this. So we have that running. So now we want to set this up as a service. So we have this service. This is pretty straightforward. Uh, just creates a systemd service, and it tells it that whenever it is not running, you know, run Python three uh, mqtt subscriber.py. So we'll do so systemd and it's in the system directory here, I believe. Yeah. So if you do a list, you can see all the other services that your Pi is running right now. So we'll do sudo wget this. To cat mqtt just make sure things look good they do look good now if you look back at our readme here um, you can see 
Uh, so this assumes that you cloned this repository. So we need to re reload our daemon here. Daemon, daemon. Okay, so that's been reloaded. We will enable our MPTT subscriber service. So that got enabled, and then we can start it using sudo service MPTT subscriber start. You can also do system CTL start MQTT subscribe subscriber. So now if we do uh, service MQTT status, it's it's running. It's actively running. So uh, MQTT subscriber is uh, running in the background. So now if we go back to our home directory here, if I do tail, you know, MQTT update here. So that's that's what we have here. Uh, if I open this, if I if I um, subscribe or publish to topic two here more every time I do it you can see that it adds topic two received uh, of course I'm not uh, outputting the message into the file here uh, just because I didn't I that's not something I coded in again though this was just for like debugging for like demo purposes so I can send it with no messages and it will add it every time I do this so now in the if statement here, once you have the topic you want, you can analyze the message that you get, and then you can use this to turn on your lights, to turn off your lights, to send other messages, etc. So uh, I hope this was a little bit useful on, on setting up MQTT on your Pi, doing a little bit of testing with MQTT Lens as well as with command line uh, MQTT with Mosquito, and setting up a Python script to run as a service in the background. Uh, which you can do a lot with. Um, so uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, if you want me to go over how to set up authentication with, with this, let me know. I plan on doing a couple of things with this, including um, some uh, some Google Assistant work, uh, where I'm, I'm trying to think of a way to control the lights within my internal network without exposing my internal network to the outside world. So I hope to have that up uh, have that idea worked out at some point over the next couple of months. Uh, it, it's a work in progress. Uh, a lot of what I've read just tells you that you need to, you know, open up your port 183 or wherever your MQTT is running um, to the outside world so that, uh, you know, if this and that or something or another external service can talk to it from your Google Assistant, which I don't want to do at the moment. Uh, so anyways, I uh, hope you learned something. If you have any questions let me know hope everyone stays safe um, stay in if you can wear a mask and thank you for watching